Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'll share a few tips on how to create uh, terrains in Odini, especially using the new Pegasus tools uh, to colorize the terrain and also how to incorporate some cliffs into your terrain. So let's get started. I'm starting with the night field which is 500 by 700 then I'm adding a noise and this noise typically looks like this like if it was uh, a desert but in this case I used which is the worldly cellular f1 in this case I use the complement so I can get these shapes and then I can I can distort it and you will start to get some interesting results. The distort is just a curl with a very high element size and some amplitudes. We get something like this. Then I want to incorporate uh, some rock formations. This is similar to a video I shared before. But just in case you didn't watch it, I'm basically taking a very distorted shape and projecting it to my height field. Then I'm using a mask expand set to height instead of mask and I get these squared out shapes. And yeah, that's basically it. Then I'm incorporating in the terrain with the height field layer. And in here, I'm distorting the, only the, the cliff or the rock formations. And in here, I am blurring the bottom by using again a night field layer with and manipulating the masks and then blurring it. And I can blur the bottom so it incorporates better into the terrain. Then I'm saving this to. Uh, mountain layer and in here <coughs> I'm creating a volume warp to add some custom noise in this case I'm using a cloud noise and uh, bind exporting it to the mask and I can use a remap and you can see we got we start to get this cloudy look in the terrain which will help in the erosion stage so in the remap I just increase the output max compute range and then increase the output max. Then I'm clearing the mask and doing a first pass of erosion. And we get we start to get these valleys. But still in is not enough resolution. As you can see we only have 2 million voxels, which is low then I am again loading the mask with a copy layer by specifying the source as mountain and destination as mask then I'm blurring the result from the um, the erosion on the on the mountain on the rock formations then I'm resampling it to a higher resolution as you can see 40 million voxels and then I'm just creating a mask of the terrain so I don't erode too much the, the rock formations and I'm doing a second pass of erosion and as you can see we start to get way better results with these typical rock shapes with a lot of valleys and then I want to flatten more these areas and remove this noise that we have and just overall flatten them. So I'm using a mask by feature with mask by slope to get uh, these flat areas and then using a night field flatten. And we should get these results as you can see. 
we go from this to this flattened areas so this is where we cache the results and we have a quite interesting terrain and some rock formations and this is where I will start to use the Pegasus tools mainly the height field material that you can use to colorize the terrain in this case I'm creating a mask by height just selecting everything and just adding some terrain texture some base texture um, then in the second one I'm adding some some darker value on the occlusion so I'm just clearing the mask and then mask by feature in this case I'm using occlusion and tinting the the result as you can see and we start to get a more interesting result then in this one I am masking the more flat areas and adding some grass as you can see this is pretty simple you just plug the color and the height if you want to add some height and then you can play with the distortion so the texture doesn't repeat so obviously so in this case I am tinting a bit the the grass the grass mask the grass texture I mean and then uh, remapping it or increasing the, the tint value but in here what I'm doing is creating a mask noise on the previous grass mask so I can remove some areas and then tinting it with a gradient as you can see from green to yellowish white and then just increasing the, the value of the tint this is a pre pretty useful node and you can see we start to get this interesting result then in here I am masking more the cliff areas and adding some texture there and doing again the same in here some more details and I am also increasing the brightness of those cliffs and now I'm creating an occlusion mask I believe yes an occlusion mask really tight and tinting the, the resulting texture by a gradient you can see if I increase the strength we get a more occluded look but in this case I want it to be subtle and that's basically it for the terrain so there's only one thing I wanted to share to finish this video which is as you can see the texture of this cliff won't really hold up even for uh, mid distance so what we can do is separate the cliff from the terrain and if you remember we have that attribute in here we have that uh, point attribute which is the mountain as you can see we have it here so we can split the mountain after converting the height field and isolate it and we keep the terrain in here and then we can merge it over the top and in this case I'm just quad remeshing the, the cliff so we can get 
some displacement uh, at render time using the new triplanar node in Odini 20 and I'm doing that just by uh, poly reducing in this case in a loop and then quad remeshing it we get some nice results nice quad mesh and then in Odini I, in uh, Solaris I can target this specific geometry so as you can see we have the high detailed terrain and uh, good topology glyph so that we can displace at render time so yeah that's basically what i wanted to share with you today and i hope you have taken something out of this again if you want more details on the height field material and all the other pegasus nodes I encourage you to watch that masterclass or that uh, series of tutorials. It's definitely really interesting and informative. So if you want to grab the file, feel free to do it on my Patreon page and I'll see you next time. Thank you.